Hello and welcome to our live stream. Today's topic is color sprays, dyes, stains, and pigments, all the similarities and difference between the various brands. We have a few. <laughs> and we will show you the ways we use them. So let's just click over here. Good morning, all. Good morning. And it may not be morning. Good for afternoon. Some of you. Good evening. So. I think we got it covered. P. Patricia. M. Mariah. PM Artist Studio. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, today is, um, well, lots of things kind of going on today. So, for those of you that entered into the giveaway, today's the day that we announce who won. Happy news, all of you won, because there was 12 of you. So, just, I want to kind of list everybody and give a huge thank you to everyone that did participate, both on Facebook and on um, Instagram. The whole thing was you were to share it with two of your friends, make sure that you are subscribed both to Facebook or to Instagram and to our YouTube channel. So hopefully you're here watching, um, if you aren't, or watching the replay, you know, again, thanks for watching and doing all that stuff and participating in our giveaway. So let's see, Paul Scraps, uh, that's Pia, she did, um, Christina Demers, I think, um, Angela Mastin, uh, Lisa Blandiak, Jacob, and Pat Post, our good friend, Becky Hayes. I hope she'll, she'll probably join us at some point. Maybe she's in the chat already. And then uh, Petra, our new friend, we will be giving you one. And then we have some of that other paper stuff that we were going to send to you as well. So we've been holding off on to that. Uh, Vivian, Colleen, get art over at get art, get art, <laughs> get art. Uh, Priya, our friend at Fair Feathers, ferns and feathers, feathers and ferns. I always get that mixed up. I'm so sorry. And then a couple last minute ones, which was Export X. I haven't heard from them, so I don't know if we can send them. But please, if you are watching, we need your address and stuff. And then a very, very last minute one, Kay's Creation. So all of you guys will be getting this cool little packet. I haven't um, addressed them yet, but it's full of cool things that we have been working on for you and um so yeah that'll be fun all right so that is that now color sprays good morning to all we have four let's see oh petra good morning She's in here. Uh, good morning, Gwen and Cookie Wookie. <laughs> You're a new subscriber. Saw that you got, you you subscribed the other day, and I was like, that is a really wonderful name, Cookie Wookie. I uh, love it, <laughs> love it, love it. Um. Oh, you're the one that. Okay, we were chatting about the butterflies. Is that Mo? I I talked to a couple people about butterflies this week. Um, it's been a real butterfly kind of week. <laughs> Ever since we did that post. But, okay, so um, we are going to be doing butterflies on the gel plate with the sprays and all of that. Let's quickly review um, kind of our lineup of the various brands. I kind of picked out all of the green ones just so that way there was a little bit. Now some of them we don't own green in. Like, maybe we should. Um, because I like green a lot. I like green a lot, too. So, kind of right out of the gate... Distress, Tim Holtz Distress inks and or his sprays, which are basically the same thing as what comes in the ink pad. He just then, I think back in 2014, this is when the sprays started coming out, turned them into sprays. Awesome. Petra has her, she's got her gel plate this week. So awesome, Ooh, awesome. Yes. So... There are kind of two different ones, and the reason I actually have these in my hand is because it's kind of interesting that even though this is in the, this is a picket fence, and it's in the spray stain line, it is actually more like the oxide, has the, because it's heavy pigment and it has more um, opaqueness to it. It does some funky things. We love this stuff. I mean, if Mariah you, loves this stuff. I love this stuff. stuff. Because, like, if you have something that's way too bright and kind of, like, this is the stuff to go spray on it. And it's kind of scary when you first have this and you don't know what it does. And you just see this white blanket that happens. 
but then it just like slowly dissipates and then you're like, oh, that's exactly what I needed. Thanks, Picket Fence. So, all right. <laughs> hey, Becky. You're, by the way, you're one of our winners. So, <laughs> um, surprise, 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 surprise. Everybody that entered, we gave you a packet because I was like, well, there's 12, so I can make 12. Then a couple more ca started coming in. I was like, I have to cut it off at some point. Yeah, I know. Midnight was the cutoff. Yeah, midnight was the cutoff. If you, if you registered after that, you were <laughs> SOL, and that's simply out of luck. Simply out of luck. Because, you know. Okay, so. Okay, you're, rat you're, rattle you're rattling and, and making noise, and I, I oh, need sorry. some of that stuff that you've oh. got in there. Okay, so I'm Thank handing you. those off to P. I'm going to go ahead and do our split. She's kind of getting the plate ready. Um. Yeah, and boy, it's a good thing, too, because I've already messed up I don't know how many times. I'll put me in the corner. This there we go. Oh, look. This is a maiden that. voyage for this stuff. I've never sprayed it on my plate before. All right, and then to talk about more about the spray stains under the Tim Holtz Distress line, there are tons of different colors, and those are going to be like the ink pad type ones, if you are more familiar with that. But again, we're talking about sprays. We love the sprays. I do. Do love some sprays. And then, like, we have a couple of different, I think we have the Tattered Rose, the Blue, uh, P, like, I mean, went through bottles of this. And, in fact, there for a while, wasn't oh. it really hard to find? And that's why you had to get the little bottle. I, I do. I love this. this. I like amber, this. Amber. Yeah. Fossilized amber. Yeah, she was real fond of that. And I think this is just one that I pulled earlier before I decided I wasn't going to use my four inch plate. Now, you know what's interesting? I think Seth Apters. Um, yeah, I want to use some of Seth's and this together. I would say that now it's not spot on because this is a bit more yellowy. But the sunshine or sunflower and the fossilized amber are similar. And I would say, actually, if you mixed the sunflower and a wee bit of the um, of the spring green, I bet you would get somewhere near the fossilized amber. So, whatever you have on hand. I think Chrissy said that she was going to be using, um, she was going to be using what? Easter egg dye. So, there you go. What's the green stuff? Which green stuff? Oh, on P's plate, that's acrylic paint. Yeah, this is, I just mixed up. This is my... She uses uh, Izzy's fabulous little... Play-Doh container. containers. Play-Doh, when, when the Play-Doh goes away, I grab right. the little thing because they're really marvelous. And I should I should say, I'm yeah, glad someone asked. Over there. Oh, sorry. There you go. Glad someone asked because in here is my own mixture of lime green, which is, I don't know, it's all kinds of colors. Who knows? Yellow, obviously yellow and green and white. But it has retardant mixed in with it. It has some gel medium, and I'm thinking it's gloss because at the time I didn't have matte. It hadn't <laughs> arrived yet. Um, let me see what else might be in there. Never, never to actually be replicated because that's how P. Well, is. and the reason that I'm going with this green, I'll just tell you, is because it's my constant. Petra loves it. Oh, thank you. I, I, I love it. And I, I like love green. pink and green. And this particular lime green, I used it the other day. It's it's wonderful across the board. It makes wonderful browns, um, neutral colors. So this is my constant variable. I'm not going to use that many different colors. I say that, and I probably will, other than the sprays <laughs> and the inks. Because <laughs> today okay? is about the sprays, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I, uh, oh, Gwen wants to know why why gel medium. Oh, because of the thick, because it was like old paint, right? So you wanted to loosen it up a this, little. This was, the <laughs> white that I used in here was the last little bit. I have since replaced it, but I had some in a tube that was so old it was practically rubber. And <laughs> it was just, I, it took me a long time to even get it resolubilized, but it was still viable. So I used the gel medium. Jolene. And I think we read that somewhere, that that's what, in order to loosen it up, that's what you do. Yes, and I have another tube of orange over there who's in the same little thing. It, some it, old it, paints. It, it is a metal casing on the tube. Now, okay, does that... Well, they still do that. They do? Who yeah, does? sir. I think some of that golden stuff still comes in metal. Oh, I, I haven't received any. But you can see I'm just dipping a little bit on there, and Mariah's going to hand me something. 
Oh, well, here. Yeah. All right, we're going to talk about Lindy's. We love this stuff. Now, it's kind of, oh, and it's sparkly. You want some sparkle yet? I don't really care. Okay. We're sticking kind of with greens for right now, just because I thought that we'd pull those and, out. And you don't need oodles and scoodles of it, because it runs off the side, and every now and then I have to clean it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab one of my, isn't that lovely? Yeah. All right, here, here's this. And you might try a little bit of that on their next one, because one of the things that we figured out with the sprays when you're using it in the gel plate, um, she's using the 3x3. Three three. I am, and I, I went back to that for two reasons. Because she had the 5x7 out, and then she's like, eh, what, what was the deal? I'd already cut my paper down to fit the 3-inch, which I'd forgotten I, I did that. And so I pulled some of these, and I was having to pull two at once, you can see, on the five by seven and I thought oh boy I'm going to be going through paper pretty rapidly here okay this is really poopy but um <laughs> I'm not going to worry about that right now I'm just kind of that, that look pea at my soup. little clip, clippy and I really I wanted to talk about my little booth here but if I had it to do over again I would put that board wall taller in the back a little bit more and yeah whatever okay here's a really um expensive exotic stencil Tell them yeah. how you made it, P. I, I just punched a bunch of holes out of a piece of, and we have decided that the off-brand Yupo, which I, 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 I'm not that, being, I'm not being facetious here. I, I really don't know what it's called, it's, but it's No, it's not. Yupo. It's, it's N-A-D-A or something like that, okay. but we and, don't like it because it has a weird film. Like, how it's made is it not. And it grabs the blade on the cutter. <laughs> That's just this nice bracelet. <laughs> Oh, which, which one are we talking about here? Yeah, which one? Oh, I should, yeah. <laughs> My sister brought me these from Thailand. Oh, right. Wow, well, we're getting way off here. I know, I know, but aren't they love? I don't ever take them off. I just leave them on. Yeah, I, she scrapes the banister with them. It makes me crazy. Okay, now, <laughs> Mariah hasn't talked about this yet, but I need this, so she's just going to have to talk about it. Okay, not a spray ink, but glitter inks, and, which would be similar to, like, a Lindy's kind of in the spray bottle with the glitter starburst so we love I, these are my most favorite glitter sprays are the lindy's i am not a fan of delusions the colors are wowie 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 zowie so if you want that great but they also are extremely heavy in the shimmer 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 and like it is crazy like amount so it takes over we like a little shimmer but if you like a lot, hey, delusion, she's, she's your girl. Um, but you should also <laughs> talk about the clogging up factor. Yes. So if you really want it to mine. still work as a spray, these are high maintenance. Kind of like dry cleaning. That's why I don't own any. Or, well, we did. We'll probably wash hey, it. I wash it. And if it makes it through, <laughs> then hey, winner, winner. Oh, yes. But this stuff, you've got to, like, wipe the nozzle, and even then, I'm still thoroughly not convinced that, because it gets clogged up even further down in the thing. You're supposed to, like, soak them out each time you use them. Sorry, we, we don't have that sort of time in our life to have such prep. Now, I will say, I still use them. I open them up. I, I pour them into little bottles. You can paint them on. They're really great for just kind of making things shiny, but painting it on. Or spattering it off of a brush. Spray thing, not so much. That's why I say, like, if you want something shiny but not crazy shiny, I love the Lindy's. Like, I don't know if you can see it in there swirling around. But see, this doesn't even require, like, a ball shaker where these do. Like, and then you have to really, really, really shake them to get them over there. So that kind of brings us to that whole pigment versus dye versus, like, stain. So I think, like from our research here, it has been that the dye and the stain basically similar in what? In composition. Yes. Because they don't have the floating pigment in it. It is like solubilized and I wish I knew that. I, I should have looked that up. I meant to look that up, like what the term is, like when something is fully, and I think it is, it's like it's fully solubilized and doesn't have floating pigment in it. And those are the ones that tend to kind of cause the most issue 
with the spray bottles, obviously, if you have like floating stuff that's going to clog up, especially, especially the um, glitter stuff. But I haven't found that to be true with the Lindy's. So these are, um, Lindy's, like you can buy it, I think, from their website. And um, we, we buy them on Amazon. And they come in like the various, like I would highly recommend buying them in the sets. Because we got, let's see, the last one we, we bought, we bought the Starburst spray set and then the flat, which I really like. Now, these have a pigment in them, so different than, so you have, like, a stain, a dye, okay. that then has the sparkly stuff Give me floating some around. Of what's her name? What's her name? Who's what's her name? The cloggy yuppie one. Oh, well, here, you gotta open it up, and that's the other thing, is that then it's very dangerous. Once you have that, like, open... Okay, I, I'm not even trying to spray it because I already uh -uh. know that that is no, it's not, not happening. Gonna... And then it gets, like, it does start to sort of bubble out, and then you have it all over you, and, yeah. You know, she may have solved that problem because... We Brandon... bought these about a year and a half ago. Yeah. I, I don't really know. No, I, I don't think so. I think it's the same thing. Because people you still... you can see, we've got some serious... Bling. It's very shiny. Bling. And I'm just thinking, what do I want to do there? I'm going to put that over it so we can at least... And I think, I don't know if I linked these on our blog or not, but um, Petra, if you want later on, I'll, I'll drop, actually I think I did. If you look in the description of this video, I'm pretty sure that I put links. No, I didn't. I didn't link stuff, but I will. I will come back and do that. Or you can, yeah, go check Amazon. I think most of the sprays are out there. Now, one of the things... I, really, I kind of like that. I mean, I know it's not much, but... <laughs> They have a new one coming out. I don't know if it's available available or not. I can't remember when I was looking around. That is both an ink, what was it, ink and pigment mixed. So I think what you get is similar to what happens on the gel plate. Like, so which one are you doing? Oh, perfect. That was perfect timing. So what you kind of, what happens here is you'll see how like the, the ink pulls in especially if like now P has absolutely no patience about the same amount as my three-year-old but if you kind of leave it for a second <laughs> it'll start pulling in and doing that bubbly kind of I'll just pull a, a plain one yes so and then really see the effect of that. and then it, it, it kind of creates yeah see now it's starting to do it you can see like right over in here it does that where it pulls it in or spreads out the pigment stuff so, pretty cool effect, and I'm thinking that with those Lindy, those new sprays that they're coming out with, and I can't remember exactly what it's called. I did actually put that in the description box. I meant to print that out and kind of have it on hand, too, but sorry. Just, you know, it's been a crazy week. We've had power outages and all kinds of things, so. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's been a... Thank goodness that's not happening all right, today. Now, that's not very interesting right now, but I'm not even worried about that. Okay, what do we have here now? I I'm think I've, oh, now number. we need to, okay, we're going to talk about Mr. Huey's, even though, um, they're very hard to find. You can still find them. They are very expensive. We love them very much. They are sort of, it's kind of interesting because I know that there's heavier pigment in them, but they typically don't need to be shaken. So it is like solubilized. Some are more opaque than others. So I think they're kind of like this weird thing in between like stains and stain dyes and the pigmented sprays. But they, however they did their mixture, I mean, it was really spot on and very sad that for whatever reason they weren't, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I really, I, I just. It makes me sad because they really are our favorites. And I tell you, look, you can see these nozzles are just gooped up and whatnot. And they still just keep on trucking. It's amazing. Absolutely. It is amazing. Now, you can see I got that umber going on there. And this is just a little bit of Seth's Flamingo. Oh, here and I have good. And, and the thing about these is, is you know, you, you have to develop this sense of play here. Because I don't, you know, some of the stuff that I'm doing right now, I, I didn't do this before. Petra says that's great. And isn't that a lovely, and these I actually embossed with the, um, oh, now look at that. Look at those colors. And that blotchy. And I just I know love the blotchy. Seth is watching this. I know he just had a little bitty. <laughs> 
He does sometimes watch our playbacks. We know of one, at least. <laughs> he he kind of he he. We share the, the the love of the grunge. Mariah, not so much. I I. But now look, okay, this should make everybody happy. There's that <laughs> so little pale so something for everyone. Pale pink. Well, I mean, how often does that happen in your <laughs> life? Not very often. But this, these are ATC cards that I'm, I'm developing with. They've got a, they've got an actual texture on one side. Okay, I love that. Now let's see if we can replicate that. What did I do? Okay. Cookie Wookie loves it. Cookie Wookie Mo. Oh my goodness. So one drop of, and I, I must say I hate the Liz. Oh my gosh, look at how nice that went up. This one is raw umber. You cannot live without this. Get raw umber. It is lovely with the lime green, and I hope I've got enough, still enough lime green on there. I'm trying to not get Oh, it. Christy says she finds it hard to see the ink on the plates, but I guess that's the thrill yeah. of the pole. <laughs> you know, it's I, the thrill I, of I the I kind of thought that that was going to be a problem. It's kind of like those people that put down... Um, I could move the camera in closer, but... But then I think, you know, you don't kind of get to see what what's happening around. And All right. This, I'm just going to do the back side of this one. Isn't that Ooh, lovely? Like now, that. that is flamingo and umber with some guck left over from the so really, mystery lime green. The, the thing that we want to convey the most here is that it really does not matter the brand now see i still had some on there that's another it's one. just like whatever you have i mean so many of these in fact like well all the mr hueys we found like at tuesday morning when they were on sale yeah we did we knew nothing about those but obviously that the reason they were there is because they were being discontinued which just makes us so really, sad really sad okay can you see how i i, I put that little edge up there and all the ones that we passed up that were like oh we already have that color if only we knew we would have purchased them so if you have any mr hueys and you don't like them please send them our <laughs> way we will swap out some stuff for you we love them i, I really do and they're more of an after spray, and I haven't tried them. There's a before and after spray. <laughs> there is a before and after spray. And the other thing that I should talk about very quickly here, because I did just do some sprays. Okay, this is Seth's pomegranate with a stencil. And all of these have pomegranate in them, but I've added, can you see that little bit of gloss? And see what that does right there? That is totally... The spray the sprays that spread now isn't that lovely the ink or the you see a little shimmer there i know it's really issues. hard i haven't had enough coffee and look at that wonderful lining up of two gel plates there and overlapping very rothko very rothko and i do have another one that's very nice here was my favorite stencil i'm going to use it but it's it's gradually tearing because I got it stuck to the plate and kind of <laughs> wonky did. Oh, I know what else we need to do some butterflies. Yes. Okay, now. So, if you have any questions, like, I think I've covered it. So, like, it really isn't that complicated. And that's why we're like, we need more to do than just talk about the differences between the sprays and all of the, you know, different brands. Because, ultimately speaking... There are, you know, if it says that it's dye or stain, they're going to do, act similarly. If they say that they have a certain opaqueness or that you can actually see, or especially if there is a, you know, shaker ball in it, you know that there's some stuff in there that's kind of floating around and that there probably is going to be a certain oh, amount of opaqueness lovely, lovely, lovely depending lovely on how much you spend. You know, shake it up and do all of that. Or there's going to be the floating glitter stuff inside of, like, what is a ink or um, a, a dye or a stain. And then they're kind of all called inks. <laughs> that's, that's been my finding. 
it, it's sort of like when we were doing the research for all of the medium, mediums, media. That is the plural. I'm a mediums. Well, yes, but technically media is the plural of medium. Okay, now I'm going to really, really, really mix this <laughs> so that I get a nice solid. Oh, good morning, Robin. She's Hi, loving Robin. your prints. All right, now did you see, you can still see where that little bit of solid lime green is there? We've already reviewed sort of like the differences between the inks. I'll, I'll probably keep talking about that throughout as we, you know, as P does more things on the, on the plate. Or if you guys do have any questions, pop back in, let us know in the chat. And I can kind of go over those or, you know, at least give you our experiences with this stuff. Because, you know, once again, it's how you want to use them. And all of these things can be used so differently. In fact, I, in my research, I was watching. That's now one thing you should kind of do is maybe try to, on some of the ones that you already have printed, do a bit of spraying through the stencil. Because some of them do work a little yes. bit better than others for that. And, and depending on, you know. Obviously okay, now this this, well. this is that same stencil with the embossing on it on the back, and I, I pressed hard, but I did not press hard enough. Okay, so this was the, all right, well, here's the, and I tried to change up my lighting today. Look, there we go. Okay, got a little bit off of that. that you can see the texture lovely. on it, and then that created, lovely, right? Lovely. That was the same. Yes, same stencil. Now, this was done with that horrible off-brand Yupo paper, which, so. <laughs> Not be named because we can't remember the name anyway. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, once I ordered these off-brand, oh, I, I, could she was even, I wrapped them up in a plastic bag and said it back the same day. Needed erasers. Needed erasers. I they mean, smelled they were, terrible. I, I felt like it was toxic. I really I'm not kidding you. I think it was toxic. Keep in mind, not all needed erasers are made equally. No. And just, you know, I have nothing to do with Dick Blick. He's not paying me anything. But their needed erasers are, are the, the best. best bang for the buck. And go ahead and get the large ones. We well, have to always take this, 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 you know, after it's dried up a bit and I can clean up its nose. There's, There's some satisfaction that is, here. That, that, that is also... With, with pulling that. Okay, I oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. Look at that little dollop there. I don't okay. know what's beeping. Yeah. Uh, and I still had stuff on my brayer. Alright, what are you spraying? I haven't sprayed anything yet. This is still just... I gotta keep her on the sprays. Picking, Otherwise she'll just be jump the, uh <laughs> Picking up this and... Um, or inks. I don't know. Because I don't think I don't think Bria Reese has turned her inks into sprays, which is fine. Because you know, we don't know. We don't know. I will tell you, her her YouTube channel was less than stellar, in, informative about her inks. I mean, oh you my can gosh, look at that! Look at that! Now that's with the actual texture on there, but you can see that little bit of shimmer from. So Bria Reese, call us. Let us know. Yes, we'll, we'll do some videos for you. And Mariah can help you clean up your. I'll help you clean up your YouTube yeah, channel. It's really cool. Okay, you really you really need to work on it, girl, because you got some good stuff. Yeah, she does. We love her products. It's just, it was very frustrating dealing with her her YouTube channel. It was a point of well and frustration. I just, I just have to get this in here because you know. Oh goodness. I don't know about y'all, but if you're going to use low contrast and put your words in some, you know, really chic gray on a white background just know that you, you've it. dropped your your and audience you, you to a certain age group me. i am off <laughs> and running somewhere else because i cannot sit there and do that and i would i dare say oh my gosh can you see that little bit mariah can you all right good that? i'm glad that you're yeah move on she's rambling i'm, I'm just rambling well that's this my job your job is to keep me on task all right see i still have some nice stuff on there now let's there we go so that is on top of the texture. I'm trying to get it to real. There we go. That's that's pretty good. Or here I can hold it in there while she's doing that. Oh yeah. See there we go. And the thing about that stuff is, is you don't you don't have to put it on every time. It ha has longevity. But look what are you talking about? Oh the 
the that iridescent. Stuff. She would yeah. like that to come in a color. And that's the reason I went to three inch pipes <laughs> because I, I'm running out of that stuff and I was afraid to order it because I didn't. We've had horribly cold weather here. In fact, we didn't get mail for three days. Yeah, which is crazy. And I don't want that stuff freezing and bursting. Oh, that would be terrible. In the terrible whatever. Okay, now, just before that, pull that up, I'm going to do this. Where did that stencil come from? Um, this was a piece of the, the yucky stuff that I couldn't do anything with. So, uh, one of the things that was, we're kind of doing some test runs on, because um, you watched something, I think, with Seth, right? That he had some cool little stencils for ATC size. So, yes. she's like, can you make me some? And I have a new cameo, which is taking some time to learn. But that's okay. I like it more in my comfort zone and hey Robin you'd be happy to know I'm actually using the desktop version <laughs> because that's the only thing I don't think that their, their app is still in beta okay or now I don't look, at, look at that folks oh that's some good stuff is that some good stuff or not that is some good stuff there I like it but anyway so those little ones that she has right there are sort of a test run and again with that terrible Yupo not Yupo so we need to get some of that on order because that thinner, it's and perfect. It's just you can see the little pieces there that have started flaking off, and I don't know if that's going to create a problem. At oh, any okay. Point. So that is a very good question. So Cookie Wookie says using um, Lindy's as a unit of measurement. How would you compare the strength and color to Seth's sprays? Oh, so. One of the things to keep in mind are the flat, I think it's it's called flat Fabio ones. So these okay, flat Fabio are the ones that have pigment in them. So they are actually going to be closer to like a distress oxide or, um, or even like the Mr. Hueys or whatever, because there's actually pigment floating around in it. They are more opaque. Okay. Now, not to be, you know, now the thing is, is with the ones that have the sparkle in it. These are actually going to be very close in color and how they act other than they have the sparkle in them to what like Seth's sprays are. And I think Seth even has some that have sparkle in them now or they, those are new ones coming out, aren't they? Like that's some of the stuff that he's been oh, talking I, about that's on like pre-order. I, I think. Now did you I see don't know if there's sprays or not. I know there's pearlized stuff and whatnot. Very, but, very liquid. He's got, well, the thing that I watched yesterday was his, with the whimsies in Oregon, right. Portland, But Oregon. none of that was spray. Uh, no, none of that was spray. And I don't know if you could make it into spray. Now, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? I'm, I'm loving that. But she's asking about color. In, oh, in and the, the intensity in of the color? the intensity of color. Um, so I would say, that's why I was saying, like, well, now those. This, this has some, a little bit sparkle of sparkly ones. stuff in it. Seth's stuff does not have sparkles in it. doesn't have any sheen. But those would be the ones that are the most similar as I far guess. as, like, how they act and the color-wise. And I, I, I of course, I, I love this. I love pink and... Now we're going to do something really weird here. Maybe mm -hmm. horrible. You better shake that. And this is the other thing that I find terribly annoying. I was happy to do that. But, you know, sometimes you just can't. Now, I, I really just want that, shake and it. I don't want to... Sometimes you just got to shake it, Gigi. You just got to shake it. Where my sticks or my, <laughs> my scooter around or things here. Such technical terms on our... Yeah. I, I don't want to use my brayer. Don't mix it all the way up. See, yeah, this is the thing that drives me crazy about it. Like, she's making new colors, and I'm like, just ombre that stuff, please. Keep some of the original. There's a little bit right over there. <laughs> All right, good. I'm, I hope that that answered your question there. And I'm sorry, I did not mean to be rude and inter interrupt and just, but I, I just really get into doing this and I... I think you need to put some purple. Oh, Ooh. yeah, baby. Mm, that's nice. It is, and I'm going to try to pick up a little bit more here. Okay, I'm just calling... You want me to move some of the greens out and bring in some, like, purples? Um, No. No, I'm just kind of wanting the purples. Okay, well, um, the purples that we have, we have to make. No, not true, lady. Not true. See, she doesn't know things. 
Kids doesn't know everything. Just watch this. I'm making purple oh, right goodness. here. Oh, knocking things over. There's a purple. And then we do have the Distress Spray, which, man, I'll tell you what, this stuff is purple. Like, purple. Now, these little tools here. Wilted Violet. I don't think there's anything wilted about that. It should be Vibrant Violet. Okay, well, the green's kind of like taking over here, but we're just going to go with it. That's what right happens now. to green sometimes. It does. I'm going to whip a little. Whip a little? Whip a little. Whip a little of my. Now, you did make a beautiful purple using Seth's stuff the other day. I did. She made a very beautiful purple that people commented on. So, oh, that's wow. the other thing. It's like, again, with the sprays, they do mix really well. Especially the stain and dye type. If you want a true like mix. Now, like I was saying, I really like that ombre kind of thing. So if you're using some of the ones with the pigment, you can kind of push that down. As you saw that she sort of did in the corner there of that last one. Now, Ooh. isn't that interesting? That's some because I didn't brayer out the... Um acrylic paint. Ooh, I don't want to. You kind of have it. a little bit of a smushy texture going on there. And um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of move that around a little bit. But I'm going to kind of make a little barrier. Here. Uh, man, I, I don't know if it showed up in there very well, but like there's almost this leaf veiny. Again, I have the crazy light over there. Sorry. I, I'm working on it. And you know, I because when it pulled, it does that little kind of ripple. It's the ripple pull. And this is very smushy stuff. I, I'm not, you know, I, I don't, I, I'm probably doing everything wrong. I don't know. There's no wrong way. But I just know that you get some lovely effects Ooh. here. Is that the purple you made? No, that was one that you handed me. Oh, that's the wilted violet. Yeah. That stuff is crazy. Okay, now do you see how we got some stuff going on right down there? You need to keep that kind of cleaned up because if you don't, I'll haunt you later. You will flop your paper down, and you will have a very, and you will be angry <laughs> because it will um, mess up. Oh, what you doing? We don't want to waste any of this stuff, so we're just going to suck it up, Buttercup. I had a friend that used to send that, that, like, a little, well, it wasn't a GIF, because it wasn't animated, but I used to send that around with a dog. Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> okay, so we've got that cleaned up there. And some kind of interesting stuff. I like that. Interesting stuff going on. Hey, that there. turned into, like, a really nifty teal. It really did, right down there. Yeah. I was just picking up all that crud that was on the... Well, there you go. Live and learn. <laughs> okay, I a little bit more paint here. And right now, I'm going to try to brayer that out just ever so slightly. Now, I can take some of those over here if you want. And then I have some others if you want to bring them back on. Like, that's kind of... Yeah. It's nice, but it could... I like this, and I think you should leave it alone. This okay, is the this one that she some, picked up all the... On the back. The gook from the side. All right, so we're we're on to purples here, and I, I love I love some oh gray. No, oh. this is the other thing. She never knows sprays. where it sprays. <laughs> Fortunately, I haven't ended up in my face yet, but you know that is just because it hasn't happened yet. I'm sure it will. Oh, Robin says she's never seen anyone work with sprays and paints on the gel plate like this. I we've actually who else? You know that's. I should write this stuff down because, I, you know, I, I don't even remember what I had for breakfast. <laughs> um, yo. I don't think we've seen anybody to this degree. Like, I would agree with that part of it. But um, I will say that, like, Robin McClendon, she did this one video where um, she used that stains, um, patty pocket stains stuff. And that's where we were really like, you know, before we invest in something like that, let's use the stains. And then that's also kind of where we were brought into um, Seth's group and stuff is looking at the stains there because we really do love our sprays. Like I said in the you know description and in our intro that like how we got started and what we use sprays for is like all sorts of things. 
And one of the reasons that we ended up with so much catch paper and such is because we were using so many sprays that, like, and, and you saw that Pete created our little stain booth there because the stuff goes everywhere. But we're okay with that, and we've created some of the most awesome backgrounds and things like that, even just from those catch sprays, or the catch papers. So sprays have been very much a part of our journey. So it's kind of like whatever we're working with, sprays are going to get worked in there somehow. Right? Absolutely. I, I, <laughs> I, I couldn't have said it better myself. Oh, and if you hand me that little jar... Um, the little white, uh, yes, that. So one of the things that, oh, she, she's leaving me presents. <laughs> I really enjoying that because my <laughs> lid to my Play-Doh container is in the little white thing. And I'm trying to get it out without, you know, yeah, damaging that was, anything. Well, and now I have. Okay, I'm so. Rubbing that on the corner, that's probably We haven't gonna... used any of the blue yet, have we? No, we haven't done blues. Let's, because, and that's the other reason that I really, I love the lime green, because it really, it really does just go with everything. The thing I like about Seth's sprays, you see that Ooh. right there? See how that happened? That's just with the right amount of acrylic paint on your plate, and I can't tell you how to get that. You just, you, you just get a plate. You just got to mess with it, but look at that. See, I'm very happy about that. And hopefully she won't, you know, bust out with her Brea Umbre. Umber. 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 It's calling I'm, I'm going to tell the joke again <laughs> about how does, and I, I read it in a group or something, but how, I guess people don't know how to cook Umber. It's either burnt or raw. She just thinks it's think hysterical, it's and I just think it's so stupid. Oh, I love oh. it. Oh, all right. Now, you see, Seth <laughs> keeps on giving. Yeah, like it stays there oh and kind of keeps coming back and doing cool things. It does. Petra, Petra gave me a chuckle, chuckle laugh with the eyes, you know, tears. Yeah. Bless your heart, Petra. Thank don't, you. Don't encourage her. <laughs> Do not. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at oh. that. Now, does that just not make your heart go pity pat? Yeah, I love it. If I can do this without totally messing up the other end, that would be really wonderful. Oh, well, okay. Oh, what I was talking about, Robin McClendon okay. did do the, the patty um, stains stuff. And so it was very similar, but Be not with like different paint. colors and stuff. So it's only like the, the patty pockets with stains. I don't know. It's basically like brown. It's, you can make coffee dyed looking papers and stuff with it. But, um, anyway, that's, that's where we kind of started jumping off and going, all right, well, let's see what we can do with color sprays because that's what we have. Yes, and I've all... And we can make brown. <laughs> I, I've, yes, boy, can I make brown. He's a professional. Like, it should be, like, something listed if we get business cards made for her. It's going to be, like, brown specialist. <laughs> I know brown. <laughs> I like brown. But I don't like brown out of the tube. I want to make yeah, my Yeah, she wants own. to make her own brown. I want to make my it, own it, it's, brown. It, it's a... Now, I, what is it? It's like this, a badge of honor. I, I she, she wears is. her brown badge proudly of, I mix my own brown. And, and I, I haven't drug out my color wheel yet. Well, I, I put it up high so you can't reach it. Oh, she did? <laughs> oh, my goodness. We, we move things that around a little so bit. so rude. Okay, I think we're ready for a little dollop of... Hey, before you go with your go-to, why don't you spray some more of a, like, a... To see if we can get the same sort of effect with some of our, because here, see this one has, and I really love that this is, so okay. this there is one go. of the Lindy's that has settled, so you can see the stuff on the bottom, um, one of the flat ones, so the pigment is, and so I'm going to shake it. Hmm. Here, ooh, put some of that on there. I just put the other on. Let's just do one at a time. We don't want to get confused. Muddy the waters here. <laughs> but see, uh -huh. now that it's all mixed up, and it mixes really well and quite fast without a shaker ball. So I like that whole. And those, the cool thing about the Lindy's is that they come um, in just the powder in the spray bottles, and then you add your own water. So shipping on them typically is better, and then you don't have to worry about them leaking. Which has been, you know. 
this is the pink that's the flat and I have a red starburst and then oh here's the brown now she doesn't like you know, she wants okay to you're her getting own. can you see that that is here, from hand me, the one that, hand me the one that I just sprayed on here which the one was oh the yellow one that yes. one okay can you see up in the corner there I'm telling you what bang for your buck Lindy's this stuff is the best and yeah. I think it's a good starter one because you'll get lots of color. You get great colors with like each set, and then like you could buy the the Starburst ones and the flat. I think it's flat. Fabio. I think I'm done with this until okay. I ordered this stuff. <laughs> it's called. Tell you what, she's been wa I, I diamond. Over. Yeah, the I zinc stuff. I zinc. Aladine. Yeah, it's the brand. Yeah, okay, well, it has And then Seth's, that's like the line. Seth's name on it, anyway. I ordered the black coffee, and it's, it's if you can imagine, coffee. Is it, was it called coffee? Yeah, black okay. coffee. And uh, I tried to order whiskey, but I guess everybody's... Everybody loves some whiskey. Everybody loves some... Oh, oh that's oh. right. <laughs> yeah, I can tell already. I, where has this been all my life? Well, I try to hide it from him. So that yeah. way there is still some. Because there's not. If I push things back, it just works in the refrigerator the same way. <laughs> if I put it on a certain shelf or put it a little further back, then it's like it doesn't exist. That is so rude <laughs> that you would tell everyone that. Oh, oh do you have God. Lindy's Afternoon Delight Denim? I don't have that one. What line is that in, um, Cookie? Cookie Wookie? Color name that says shade, please. Okay, what is the color name of that Seth shade? Oh, the the blue. We have, I'll just kind of list them off, all the ones that we have of Seth sprays, because I know a lot of you guys kind of are from that group. Okay, so we have those. I have that one. Uh, where's the green? Oh. All right, hold on here. Because we have six total. So I got six there. Okay, yes, I do. So we won the little photo giveaway thing. For, and that's kind of what got us started on this. I was pretty happy that we won. Because I was like, if I don't win, then I'm going to buy them. But we won. That was pretty exciting. So we went ahead and bought some more. So then we get them here flying on by and stuff. But anyway. Um, so we have the spring green in Seth's. We have the... Sunflower, which is the yellow, and the sea spray blue. Then we have the pink set, which are what do they call it, like fire or something like that, I think is what it was called as far as the set. And then that's flamingo, wild rose, and the pomegranate. And that's what we have in Seth's sprays. Then I'll go through the Lindsay's. Now, I should say the stuff that I ordered, oh my gosh, look at that color. Sorry, oh, I'm getting organized I over here. I am loving again. whatever this is. I'll have to pick it up and look at the color again. All right, so. She just took it away. Oh, sorry. Oh, the brown, right? No. Oh, the red. The um. Yeah, she can't. Here, let me see. I this is the peony scarlet red in the Lindy's that she just had the the red one okay she so that's very similar but has the that, but I'm gonna do it anyway I would say that that's actually more like pomegranate yeah so that peony scarlet red is very similar to the Seth's pomegranate sans the sparkle because this is a starburst one so it has sparkle I think these come I think these come without sparkle too. I'm not sure. They have like five different sets or lines. The the Lindy's people. So, all right, where was I here on Lindy's? Because we have the sparkle ones. So let's go there. There's that, that, that. There's a yellow, which is here. But don't let the sparkle stuff be a big... Because isn't decider, it because you can a big add decider. this to everything. I just you know yeah. this changed my life because I've got this really 
really dark green, which Mariah just hates it. <laughs> and I'm sorry. She bad mouths it all the time. Um, well, that stuff just again is one of those that keeps on kind of giving and just I shows did, up well, in places this, you didn't want it to. And, I did this. Oh, hey, we have to just touch on this a little bit. Food coloring, Christy. Yeah. From the the junk, the ninety eight cent bin at Michael's. Yeah. And the okay, do you see the contrast there? I'm not even going to bother trying to read that. Uh, I have. That's what I makes her care. angry. So uh, <laughs> it was like ninety nine cents. Yeah, and let me tell you, so this is one thing that I have not seen. Now, I do think maybe Seth does have a set of the blues and stuff that might have a sea foamy green. But the only other one that I've ever seen, and I tell you what, it is like gone. And I was so excited to see this because it's that same sea foamy green color was the Mr. Hueys. And I used it up and I can't find it. So this was the closest thing. And I just, I love this color. Now, like mom said, you, you can mix it and she gets there sometimes. But like, if you want a quick grab, it's, it's a lot like how, you know, you guys do on the gel plate print printing is it's nice to have those colors just on hand because you're very quickly doing this stuff. So if it's already pre-mixed, that's sort of nice. Not to say that it can't be mixed or replicated. Was that some good stuff right there? That was, that was some, some good, good stuff. stuff right there. Okay, now you're starting to see the pattern a little bit more. And this is where I would take this and I, I what do you want to do it? I, I would just spray this in and let it run down. Well do it. What are you I, gonna I do? I know with? because I would mess everything up here. Oh. I'm just that's not where I am right now. I have to take the gel plate away and everything away. So well, I, I'm loving this. I, I don't like want to do anything to this until I get my diamond I don't know what it's called. I zinc from Seth. Coffee diamond. And it was the glitter stuff, right? Yeah, because it's diamond. Yes. So it adds texture and like, I mean, this coffee groundy gritty thing. Like, I mean, he, he totally had pee yesterday in the... Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I was, she was all over it. I, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have some of that. And I even ordered some of the... I'm not a big pearlescent person. But. Until she found the iridescent, and then she decided that, you know, maybe there is a place in her life for a little bit of shine. I think that's similar to huh. what about? a lot of people. Like, again, I don't like the delusions because it is, like, bling. Like, it covers everything. And, you know, I, I have not had much luck mixing those very well. I always end up with green. I don't know why. You remember that when I was spraying that stuff? And I was like, I just, I can't let it dry long enough or something that then everything comes together and green. All right, so back to the sort of the Lindy's and what I have. So I I have like the flat Fabio, because that's what it's called, flat Fabio set. And it's a peachy color, a pink, a blue, a green, and a purple. So that's the flat flat sets. There we go. And then the very first ones I got and were actually mom bought for me. And I think I'm missing one. There's one missing, I believe. Because they usually, no, five. Okay. They, they come in the fives. Sorry. <laughs> now, so you still see a little, sorry to interrupt, Mariah. Yeah. See a little bit of shimmer from you need to add some brown to that, I think. I like it just like that. It's just not going to listen. I, I'm waiting to put my diamond dust on some of these, Mariah. Okay, now. How to grunge them up. Yeah. Because that's really what, what he did, is he used the glitter stuff, the gritty, to really just kind of subdue some of the color and get you that grunge. And almost that, in that texture as well. See, I always do that texture. <laughs> okay, now I need some of that one that I had that was the rosy color. Okay. I had a little bit of sparkle to it. Oh, that's the Lindy's. That's in my hand right here. All right, now here we go with color wheel again. Because um, I, I don't really, you, you never really know, but we've got blue, 
from Berea Reese, the glittering, which is awesome, and and I'm trying to get a small amount. You know, and the, here's the Tim Holtz stuff that we have too. That's that nice lighter blue. I do like this blue, like to start out with. Yeah, that's Mariah's blue. That's not my go-to blue. I think it's very windy. tumbled glass. See, it's right there in that sea foam tumbled glass. I love those. Now, oh, see on my brayer, Ooh. I'm not taking that off of my brayer because it's just... She's going to use it it's again. It's going to be wonderful stuff. All right, here we go. We have to remember which end we're working on here. <laughs> what? Christy said, I thought you were turning my volume down. I just have to do that. That's true. That's Christy's volume. She used to get real loud. I'm like, i got to turn you down, girl. <laughs> okay, that is really... I, I love that. I, I love what happened there. Oh. That, I, I mean, this stuff here is some powerful stuff. And it's a it's that lovely dull Mariah. This is not Mariah's blue. That's not true. I don't like that blue. Okay. We're working on a whole paper set based on sort of that, in that end of the, the blues. I'll sneak a little of this in while she's talking and not paying attention. I was drinking coffee. <laughs> Ooh. That's some good stuff right there. That is some good stuff. Okay, I think I'm done with that, but here's my... <laughs> uh -oh. oh, hi, Chris. Sorry, I didn't see you kind of snuck in there. I was, I was reading back through the chat there. We, we have headless violin, Chris. I'm sure, there's a, <laughs> I'm sure there's a story behind that. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that end alone. I kind of like it. Oh, so tell them why the little bit is green there. <laughs> <laughs> because on my stencil, I had used it with, obviously, one of the dies. And as I'm scraping my stencil, scraping the modeling paste through my stencil, Reactivated I'm it. with this lovely minty green. And I'm going, whoa, where, where, where did that come from? But now, Mariah, can you wiggle that around and show them the shiny? Yeah, I think so. Actually, I'm going to do it on yours because I get it better. <clears throat> see, so you can see a little bit of the... Coming back to this wonderful... This lime green is just... If you're going to pick a color and you want to create a series, you, you want to have some consistency to whatever experiment you're doing, I highly recommend lime green. <laughs> I just think... Now, see, I kind of like that. That end being, <laughs> so I can decide something else to do with that later. I don't know. But anyway, I, I love that. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more here. Edge of that. Get that to go across. So, so the story was, is her, her son named her, I am assuming it's Chris Girl. Could be Chris Boy. Let me know. Um, my son named me, and I, I can't change it. I'm sure people think I'm some sort of murderer. I'm really not Chris. <laughs> I like that. That's a good one. As you can see, my brayer just keeps on giving here. And I think that's sort of one of the differences, tell me if I'm wrong, about, you know, the paint versus the inks and sprays and stuff on the gel plate is that you can kind of get more out of your brayer, right? Well, I don't. I don't really worry about my well, that's brayer true. very much. It, I, I worry when it doesn't turn anymore, and then I clean it. But that's usually what I... Isn't that a lovely little stencil? That's a little piece that was off of the other stuff. I don't okay, know if I, I finished that story about the whole stencil thing, but we're trying to cut small ones. They didn't work. P ended up grabbing that, reworking them, and cutting out some of the stuff that was supposed to cut out, and then <laughs> that cool one with the dots, she actually just did with the hole punch. So that's one of the nice things about working on the smaller plates. So this is the hole punch one. Hey, that was good timing. Look at that. So that's the hole punch one. And I was like, that's really cool. That's fantastic. Now, one of the things that I did want to address here, um, you know, if you have... Uh, the, the reason that I, I, I like the ink sometimes is because you see how dry that plate was. Ooh, that's so pretty, though. 
Let me but see I could still, I could still get some stuff off These guys of are it. Friends, and you know that's just if, if you you want to do that, you need to use your tissue paper because the tissue paper is just gets it in all the sucks it all up nooks and crannies, and I'm pulling that off, and I knew that was going to be really light, and not, but it's going to be wonderful here in a minute because I'm going to do. Okay, where Man, are that we? looks fantastic. So this is not, I don't think that it's really wet anymore, and it's still, so that's actually the shimmer. Isn't that beautiful? I just think that's so beautiful. I, I think it's beautiful, too. It's beautiful. Now, if, you, if you've if you got something and you, you want to add some shimmer to uh -oh. it afterwards, uh -oh. oh, no. Oh, no. You can know. always just, you know, on a fairly clean gel plate, well, you know, mine's fairly clean. Yeah. I, I'm still getting a little bit of the green there, but it's not something that I'm, I really mind. And I do have a bit of shimmer here, but I want some more. Okay, so I just want to say that we are kind of at our hour mark here. So I don't know if you want to take away the booth. Or, or not the booth, but take away the plate and just do some straight on spraying or what you guys, um, please let us what, know in the chat. You, yeah, what do you, what what, do you, what you guys want to see just some, you know, now that we have some cool gel prints, we can come back and either do a little bit of the dabbing, which is usually my job because that's much too boring for P. I just come not in and fix dabber. things. I'm a dabber. I, love, I appreciate dabbers. I'm just not one of them. She's not a dabber. <laughs> She's a mixer. I'm a dabber. <laughs> Let us know. Hashtag team. Dabber, mixer. I'm a dab and mixer. <laughs> what you want? What you want? Sounds like we're going to a rave. Now, see how <laughs> I save, save that? I love that. I love that. Just pick up a little bit more here. And you know, when I got these little places, it's... <laughs> three in a row. It was a triangle, a circle, and a square. And I just got them because they were on sale. And I thought, you know, that's kind of cute. I can use them for a stamp. I've used this three inch for more. Yes. I did all of hey, my and if you're doing photo transfer. Yeah, and if you're doing this. gel plate printing with kids, the little plate's the way to go. Had that question. Um, saw that over in the gel plate enthusiast the other day. Somebody asked you know, what what we'd recommend as far as for children. Because it's, it's really quick. And, and you don't have to use a ton of paper. You can cut up small pieces. Because you're going to be, you know, it's, it's that whole thing. You just you sit there and pull and pull and pull and pull. <laughs> you can do it like all day. I think that's just kind of the way of the gel plate printing. Christy's a dabber. Are you a dabber? And then Chris says, she says, I wouldn't say I was a girl, more a grumpy old lady. The things my lads land me with, they think are hilarious. <laughs> me, not so much. <laughs> and she she loves to gel, jelly paint. Okay, that was with some of that stuff that Mariah uses all the time. The wimpy glue. Yeah. So are we going to continue on wimpy. doing this? Or you guys let us know. I mean... Well, this is usually when people start kind of dropping out, and we kind of have thir usually about 30 more minutes um, if you want us to continue on, or, you know, we can always call it. We've certainly covered, I believe, all of the different types of sprays that we use. Um, there are others out there, but it usually covers the, um, all the ones that we have cover the different types. So... That's um, kind of where we're at. Well, cool. Then I mean, he could do this all day. So yeah, I, I mean, we'll stay on for a little bit longer for sure. Um, I would like for you to do some of the sprays, or we could dab. How you can kind of come back in and touch up some of the areas. Like this is what I do when she hands them over to me, and then they are mine to cover up some of the white. We need to do butterflies. <gasps> We haven't done any butterflies. Oh my goodness. And Petra wants to see a little dabbing. Oh, 
Hector wants to see the dabbing. Well, that's more, totally Mariah. You know, I need to get some of this kind of thing going on with my butterflies. Yes. So, can we... Use... Well, let's do a few butterflies, because I actually did. So, they're really a cool one. Um, so, you guys saw the picture. I think a lot of you did. Um, saw the picture that I posted with the one that was turquoise up front. That one was created because of dabbing, because all those turquoise areas were actually white. And... Oh, you've, is my little dish over there with my sponges? I handed you your dish. No, the other dish. There's more dishes than one over there. It's just it's behind the booth. <laughs> well, I'm kind of trying to think about, you know, butterfly stuff. Butterfly stuff. But anyway, so I used my dabber, and a lot of times it's kind of like pee. Like, I don't clean them or whatever, and I just leave whatever's on there. So it reactivates. Oh. So, okay, she wants, can you please use the sprays, but turn the plate like a stamp in the effect, in that effect, any different? Um, um, I, I could, but I've got my, I've got Oh, it. she has it stuck down. Because it has a tendency to slip and slide on me, and I, I don't, I, you can do that, I don't like to do that. You get really gooked up. And. <laughs> well, she does. Okay. Ooh. Now, they may not... That was a good base. That was a good base. I'm glad I moved my other stuff out of the way here. Give me some place to put the... Now, I have more of the inks and stuff over here. I have a lot of them, actually. One of the things, so I was meaning to show this earlier, that we make with the sprays are our washers and we just spray the big sheets and then do other effects on them either draw stuff on top of them or whatever but um these are the little washy washers that we make and then run them through christy will recognize i think that that embossing folder And those this are is fun. Just, this is really just a base layer that we're doing right now. Yeah. Very few of these. Now, that's nice. Oh, that's pretty. But see, I would come back in and dab, dab. the white areas. Because she's like, why is it that you don't want white? I'm like, if I wanted a white butterfly, then I'd just leave it white. That's well, what I'm I, saying. I personally think some of white is kind of nice. Could you all chime in on that? There's nothing wrong with a little bit of white showing. <laughs> I want a fully covered butterfly. Okay, now you can just do one wing at a time. One, yes, I like the one wing ones. The one wing ones. Right on the edge. So you, you get a nice. Now, see, I'm leaving that white. I don't really care. What That's fine. Is. I'll, I'll we'll, we'll switch, deal with it. We'll switch up here in just a moment, guys, and then I'll, I'll show you some, some dabby. And what I do, and most of it is kind of willy-nilly because um like i said i usually have stuff already on the my little sponges so that gets reactivated so then you get kind of weird color mixes but again that's the fun of it for us at least and i do go through and do the other side some of them now the thing is is like if you plan on using these for something that you're going to glue them down to it really isn't and then that way you're not you're yeah then you're not torn decision. because if you have a butterfly good on both sides that's that's the real struggle, y'all. It's the real struggle. That's the real struggle. Real struggle. <laughs> I was going to take your prayer away. <laughs> kind of need that, don't you? <laughs> uh, I really, I haven't been using it. Um, I've been using my little... Here, yeah, this blue is wonderful. And I think how I got some of my... Cool teal yes. color? Yes. Cool teal color is right. Well, let's see what happens when we squish that out. I've got paint on my hands. Which, this is kind of, whoa, did you see that? Shot out of there. <laughs> Ooh. Meh. Maybe. Oh, now it's, okay. Now that's some really nice, misty, watery color. Oh, yeah. See, I like that. And so 
what created that was the Lindy's flat Fabio stuff because it has a little bit of that opaqueness. 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 Look at that beautiful little periwinkle loveliness. And what we're doing this on is, um, watercolor paper, 140 pound. No. No? Because there's no way I'd be cutting that. I mean, that would have taken, like, five cuts. This took three cuts on the Cameo. I'm still learning this darn thing. And I have a two millimeter blade. The three millimeter is on its way. Which I still, I don't understand. But I'm working it out. Anyway. So... This is the Bristol board that is like a hundred pound. That Bristol board's some good stuff. Yeah, it's it's pretty thick, but not like so crazy thick like oh, the watercolor because yeah. the watercolors. Some... We're going into the moth. Yeah, like this stuff things. is thick. This is that that's what she was doing these smaller cards on. Yeah, today if it was kind of beigey. Uh, colored paper, it was... I don't think they can necessarily tell that. On the... It was Bristol. If it was pure white, it was the 140-pound watercolor. I really, you know, I've Ooh. tried using... This is a different color we've been yeah. before. Um, using the rough watercolor paper, I, 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 I do not like it. I just do not like Unless it. Unless you want texture on your... Because that was our thing last week, um, for those of you that were with us, or if you want to go back and watch that, uh, we did all the papers. Which was a really great, like, experiment for us, and I, I hope that a lot of you got some great information out of that, too. Because paper makes some difference. I mean, especially if it is textured stuff. It's definitely going to... Okay, in, in I, this I'm kind going of to do situation. something I never do. Oh, she's going to clean up her plate. Because I want to do yellow. Okay. Well, you better clean up all the way around. Because I won't be the yellow very long. Here, I'll give you some different yellows. Because we haven't done yellow at all. And yellow is absolutely one of my favorites. Well, we did a little bit, but in an upper. And I don't know. I better brayer off a little bit. I don't know this going to make that much difference. I think that's that time to dry up. It's now part of the... Oh. Okay, we're going to start off with... Sunflower. Well, you only got two butterflies left, I think. Oh my goodness. Well, I knew I should have cut more. Dad Nabbit. Dad Nabbit. Well, you can do the other side, but then you run into possibly cross contamination. Cross contamination. Okay, I just put three different things down there. Leave it like that, because look at how beautiful you get kind of a whoosh, the ombre. I want something. Oh, this is a little juicy, juicy here. Yes. This Why don't you pull one of your? She just can't. We're gonna she thicken can't, it. She thicken can't it keep it away from that stuff. Bit. And this is really, you know, I'm, I'm not being facetious here. I mean, you know, if if you want your sprays to have a little body to them, yeah, you just add a little gel medium. Now, now it's all mixed up. No, nah, not really. But it's very squishy. Look at that beautiful yellow butterfly. So if you attach the butterfly down its body, then you will get to see, depending on... And you get to see both sides depending on what you use them for. Yeah. Now we've got some green in the carbon. Well, I'll tell you this. There was this one lady. I can't remember. I really wish I could. It could have been the paper outpost lady. But she actually made these little spinner cards, like with a fishing line or something in between. But she hole punched and then strung the thing, and then that way you could see both sides. Did you have enough blues? I the, I think we got blue covered for sure. Okay, can I use this to make yeah. something else? Well, you're going to make green. I'm going to make green. <laughs> sort of. A lovely green. Uh, that's pretty. That's yeah. with that little bit of shimmer, which Mariah can always add that later. That's for the sprays and the dabbing and the yada yada, whatever. Go along. Okay. I think we call it because it looks like we're sort of there at a good 
point here. Swap that one down there. That would be good with a mix of what you got going on there. Um, and then I can switch over. If you want some solid colored butterflies. If you want the you bag. <laughs> you just brayer them. Ooh. Oh, that's very, you know. Speckly and. Speckly and deckly. Yeah, you should put that one back on. In some of those areas that. Oh, well, or that. I don't agree with that. Oh, but look at um, that side. All right. I like it. Mariah doesn't like it. She'll she'll do something to it. I I I just have to get you know let it go, let it go. She usually ends up liking the stuff I do. Usually, not always. Sometimes I do. A little bit of interest there. Okay. Well, it's been fun. I mean, I had a good time. I can't believe it's coming up on yeah, time yeah. to go home. But I'll probably be here all day, you know, farting around with this. Messing around with the rest of my cards and doing some other stuff. All right, let's do just some dabby dab dab on our butterflies. I'll let you sit here so you can hand the butterflies back to me. All right, I'm removing my plate. And, well, you're. Now, if you get to spraying, you need to move my Oh, no, stuff. I'm going to dab. You're I'm dabbing. Not, I'm not going to spray. All right, all right. Go okay. Ahead. Little and I'm really a terrible talker. This is one of the reasons that, you know, everybody has their job. Did you hand me my coffee? I think I can drink coffee over here, can Yeah. I'll just yammer on about something here. Okay. I don't, I really, I, I have no you idea what my, she's going to do. You locked my stuff away. All right, well, I should say that I didn't really get to use any of my stencils today. Okay. So well, I did use one. Dog hair. That's always good. It's just another form of protein. Okay. I can say that because I, I really do. I truly believe that. Yeah. You're Cool. Alright, I got my one. Here's This how might I made benefit the from some dabbing. I'm not gonna say that out loud so she can't hear, but Okay, we'll give it over here. No. no. I'm I'm I'm, I'm capable of doing my own dabbing. Okay, so let's <clears throat> actually I think I like this one. You have to tell we'll me what you want. More turquoise. So you can see on my little makeup sponge here that I have different sort of areas because this is what I do. So that's what she does. And I just sit over here and fiddle diddle with the things that I think. I spray a little bit in. I'm going to put the ones that need work right there. Mariah. And then and you can see it's starting to kind of bleed off over into there, and that's fine. And then I just come in and do a little dabby. See? Beautiful. A little bit goes a long way, like just those little dabs. What is it you're using? Just this. It's really great. So the Lindy's Flat Fabio, the Tilt to Whirl Teal. These are all funny because they're like carnival names. I think the purple one's like Taffy or something. But, um, and, and you can see that it's bled over into, and most likely what that is, is this one over here. So I'm getting a little bit of both. And I don't press too hard. Just because I want a little bit of that texture that comes from the sponge as well. And that's how I dab the sprays. Because that's how I like it. This one's kind of boring. It needs a little help too. Okay, that's kind of irritating me. I really want to add a little brown to this, but... I don't know if that's I think be you smart. should do that with your spattering. You should show them a bit of spattering oh, too. Okay, so yeah. But now I want my stuff out of there because I don't want my stuff spattered. Okay. And the little booth works really well for the spattering, it by does. the way. I, I got stuff everywhere the other day. Well, you just kind of piled it all around. <laughs> just hand it to me. Uh, I, I don't need any editorializing. Just <laughs> hand me my stuff. 
Do you want the one on the wall? Or yeah, because be I know what happens. You can give me my dad gum paint, too, because right. I like the color that I've got there. Okay, so in order to do the spatter bit, let's bring this one back in. I'm going to go a little heavier with my dabbing. This, this one's still kind of wet, so I'm going to pick up some of that other. You can see. Got some of that in there to cut off. That one's Ethan, I think beautiful. you maybe need a little. What do you all think about? Oh, Felicia's here. Oh. Hi, Felicia. I'm kind of running both spots right now because he can't see that stuff in the chat. If you attach the butterfly down its body, then you get to see both sides depending on what you And I think what she's saying so is to like bend the wings up. Remember oh. how I did on that one? I've actually done that before. Chris, well, sure. You know, sometimes it's the most obvious things that are oh, the here. ones that you think of last. Okay, That's, so I yeah. think this could use, this will look cool, spattered. I don't know about this guy. It's not really going to show up because it's gold, so it might. Well, why can't you use some of the colored um, fine well, text? Um, I would, but somebody locked down my drawer over here, so we're not going to deal with all that. I locked down her drawer. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me see if I can get to it. I just on, put, on. I put my stuff, my one thing on oh, top. Oh, I got it. Look, look, look. I got it. Oh, she's. Yes. Those are the reds. I don't want reds. I want blues. I want these. I want this. I think that's going to be I awesome. think some of that copper on there would be this lovely. One? Yes, and nice, you know, complimentary. Okay. This is my favorite spatter brush. Because it's got enough spring and enough length on it that it and it really point yeah point. you need you need to have a, a, a bit of um, okay now I need a bit of body to your brush we swapped out our <laughs> we traded our carousel sleep so that way we could reach the sides there so things were a little bit in different spots all right so. I highly recommend purchasing wow. Calero. Here, I'm going to get some of these yeah, sprays and stuff. Tech. The Calero are the little bit less pricey versions of, because um, they're they still a fine tech, but it's Calero. And then these are just the fine tech. These are awesome. They're just a smoother. Mariah, can I get rid of me? I just want to move over there and I. I think that they don't want to look at this wall back there. Oh, you just don't want to be on there. So we'll be just top view. There we go. Because I want to move in closer so I can add more. I can give her some advice. Uh -huh. Get it pretty wet, obviously. I mean, because we're going to be doing spatter here. It needs to be kind of, of creamy. Yeah. And I've got a little bit of um, a little bit of gold still left on my brush. Don't don't judge me. It's watercolor. It's not going to hurt anything. It's bad brush. We do not bad brush care, but you know. <laughs> It, the, the lovely thing about watercolor is it does wash out. It's not like acrylic. It yeah. sets up and that you live with it forever. All right. I feel like we've got a good consistency of stuff going on. You can kind of see it there on my brush. And then if you got a tool like this of some sort, something with a handle. <laughs> you can also use a, another brush. Yeah, you can hold it. I like this because it actually catches the spatter so it doesn't come back on you as much, you know. Oh yeah, you have a bit of a blockage. Yeah. So... You want to order a two-inch stamp or whatever. Or you can pick one up, but, you know, it doesn't matter what it says. Oh, that's beautiful. I can feel it spattering me. I'm going to have, like, lovely little teal freckles. On your face? Mm -hmm. Really? Pop up a little bit, yeah. Do you want me to fetch you a water to wash? No, I, I really need this actually to thicken up a bit. Because that's why I'm just getting the little. 
Well, would you spray the copper so it can be solubilizing while you're... Oh, dear. And even some of that red there, just spray See, a lot of I don't of know why. I mean, she was going to take over anyway. No, I'm not. I'm just making suggestions, Mariah. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, we got to get Whoa, this good. Whoa, sorry. What? I just Are you bumping? bonked everybody. Uh, well, your camera's not on, so it shouldn't be. I shouldn't annoying. be sending them to the earthquake zone. No, but we do want to see our chat. Which, sorry, guys. There we go. Okay. I love you together. You can't read that. <laughs> I love you together. A real double act. The more the better. Well done. Much love, Chris. UK, you got it on the butterfly. Sorry for my hopeless description. Oh, no worries. You should watch me type. It's painful. Oh, it's painful. Sometimes I Mariah, just, all right, I got to just take over. because She just, just she, she pushes me out of the way mad. sometimes. I know, I shouldn't tell you those kind of things. You'll have a very bad impression of her. But she is kind of pushy sometimes. I learned it from somebody. <laughs> Could be genetic. When our three-year-old is... You know, sometimes the things that come out of your mouth, you, when they're repeated to you, from back yeah. to you from, via another person, a, a, a three-year-old, mm -hmm. who stands there with her hips, hand on her hips, you know. Stomping. <laughs> saying... I need you to do that now. <laughs> and you're going, oh, man. Hmm. I should probably ask her to do things a little bit nicer. <laughs> That's what she told me one day. She asked me, she said, Gigi, have you had your nice vitamins this morning? All right. So I said, yes, I had. Otherwise, you would, you know, have physical injuries. Sometimes I even come in here and let you see me cover up that white spot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's covering up the oh, white spots. Goodness. All right, you do not get any more butterflies. None. None? No. Now, can we have a vote out there? All right, I'm, I'm looking at I'll my screen, so. and I'm say, seeing. She, she's waiting for you guys to vote. I'm waiting for you to vote. Do what? we leave white spaces? We leave a little. You can just give me a thumbs up. Does this have a thumbs up on it? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> it can put an emoji in. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough. Like, if I go, like, too crazy. But, oh, be, Fel yeah. Felicia says nice vitamins, and then she has three mm -hmm. faces that are smiling with... See, now you're making people feel awkward. They said they shouldn't take sides. Christy gave you a thumbs up. <laughs> Christy has known me since... Well, we've known each other since fourth grade, so... Oh, uh, well, we don't, we don't really care. She won't listen to, to you anyway. She doesn't listen to me. So, um, yeah. All right. Hey, I, I'm loving these. These are, these are dunsies. Do you want me to bop anything else or dauber? Well, or... I wanted you to kind of use the, did you solubilize that burgundy color? And now the one last thing that we did do in the, in the, um, in the butterflies that you guys saw online in, in the social posts, um, he came in with a stamp and with a swirly, swirly do stamp. So that's really the only thing that these are missing that probably will be done. Now, granted, we did actually stamp before we did the spatter, but I don't know that. I, I don't think that. The, I don't think that that probably matters. I, I don't think the sequence will matter at all. We don't know that for sure, but because I'm you, what I use is I use the stays on stamp pad, which is permanent, I and it's brown. This this um. Watercolor dries really quickly, too. I love that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I hope you guys can see that pretty Stop. well. Stop. Yeah, now, now hold it. <laughs> she does that twirly thing, and I'm just like, I whiplash. Every time. Okay, she I'm, every I'm reading time. here. Okay. The white can be shine spots. See, Mariah. Okay, shiny spots. All right. What Thank you, Felicia. What are we I, will, I will send you something in the mail. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> She, 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 she's, not a, she's not above bribery. Um, <laughs> she really isn't. I'm, I'm not. Okay, what are we doing with these? Am I daubing something on? What, what do you mean? <laughs> it's very hard to come between mother and daughter over white issues. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's great. Oh. All right, hey, I'm thinking something. That's like headless violin. I just love that. What? What is that? Why are you showing me that? Because I would like to know. 
Oh. You handed me these to dob them, or am I just splattering them? You're just splattering. We're leaving white. Remember, Felicia said that that's okay. where the sunlight's now, shining. here's my next question on this one. Is, yes. Are we going complementary colors and using gold, or would you like me to stick in this very lovely copper range and do that? That copper range is what I had in mind. And Fantastic. even some of that burgundy, too. You could even mix it. Okay. You could do well, two. Me, let me do this first, because I've got it wet, and like you said, I'll get this one. Hey, on the far end or just one up? Uh, far end. I told you that needed to be soluble. I, I just spray the whole thing when I start out. I know out. you do. I find that wasteful. Well, it's not. It just... I, I don't know why. I'm just, I was about to say, I don't know why. It's just, I do. It's just water. It sets there and it gets hard again. But I just think that that little bit of shine, I'm not a really big blingy person, unless it's shiny stuff on rust. I like that. But I, I do love... Shiny stuff on rust. I do love these fine texts for that ability to just add that little bit. I really do like this one, Mariah. What? Yeah, it's beautiful. I do good shine work. She does good shine work. She's hired. Anybody have anything, send it. We'll shine it we'll up. Shine it up, send it back. Cookie says, Cess Isaac pigments are awesome for splatter, but it takes a while to dry. Yes. And it a, a warning. It if you resolubilize an area where it was, if it's on a surface that is not um, absorbent, oh, it will come off. I used butcher paper the other day. And as I was, I was cleaning up. Not butcher paper. It was the craft, the white no. craft paper that we have on the roll. I, and then, are you talking about? And then it put it on the plate. And then you were like, "Where did that come from?" It was because you had sprayed it. No, I put okay. down the butcher paper underneath <laughs> my plate. Okay. Today we just have craft paper now, and that's oh, because it's okay. shiny. Sorry. Yeah, we we're talking about two completely and different I, things. Yeah, so sorry, no, that was my bad. Totally different <laughs> situations here. So, I was cleaning up around the gel plate and noticed that there were streaks on my uh, butcher paper, What uh, I don't know, what, what do you call it? It has a, a plasticky film on one side and then the other side it doesn't well, have meat any. freezer paper. Meat right? freezer paper, thank you. It comes in a roll, you know, it's got a pig on have, the front. It's got a pig on the front. We have it on our list of... Things that we use because let me tell you we use that. Stuff We're on our second box but of it's, that. It's terrible for videoing because it's shiny. It does. It just that's where she was going. With everything that. just blows out and you've just got twinkles and everything and so, yeah, not good. That's okay. We're just creating but it's really great paper. stuff. If you miss the butterflies with water, will the color reactivate? If it's Seth stuff, it, we know it will. For we sure. know it will. But now remember. We've mixed in some of the acrylic sprays. I mean, there, acrylic see paint. That. Yes, and then, well, and then it just reactivated some of the background uh, stuff. Well, and also the watercolor, but that's beautiful too. I love that. Look at that. Okay, <gasps> bleeding out there. That's lovely. Yeah. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, that was that was a timely intervention. It really was. That butterfly needed that because that white space needed. To and grow. you know, <laughs> Cookie Wookie, I should say, I do. <laughs> have somewhere that I just went through before I did anything and just sprayed my gel plate with some of the cess and I tried to use two so you could see and just left them with the fine mist and put my paper down and t took it up and that was my background. I love doing that. Do you want to that look at them is, while you're talking? That is just awesome. I could do that. And I don't. I, I've got them in a baggie. Oh, now she's wandering about, so no worries. I'm not going to turn her on. <laughs> wandering about the studio. I don't know. I think I might have screwed that up a little bit, but that's all right. I'm going to flip that some more. I'm just going to look through here. So. And I do, I I love the, the oh. I love the reds, the pomegranate, Ooh, that's looking pretty cool. the flamingo, and what is the other Seth after? Here, hey. you want to see some spray stuff? Oh, rose. 
And I that is that is another thing. That. It's really annoying. She hates that. I, hate I, I really see now if I have messed up something, which I feel like I sort of have, and you know, don't tell P, but uh I think it does need more of the white space back in it. That's where this really does come in handy. <laughs> I'm I, you know, I'm so glad I'm and here to hear that. See, this is the part where it's like, oh my god, what happened? But watch. Just watch. It takes a little minute or two. I know a lot of people would have their hair dryer on it, but we just hey, I can't find it. It's somewhere in the closet over here and and I, I'm second, because I, I will have to go and well, be some... Well, thirdly, yes, it drives me I will crazy. have to be somewhere else. Oh, wow. That's going to be so fun. Well, I think that's a bit much. It's not. It's going to... You know it's going to soak, soak in. All right. Now, while that's soaking in, could you show that that's, that's just... Do you want me to blot that? <laughs> I'm going to blot you. <laughs> let me put some gold stuff on it. And... Uh, this these are Seth sprays and I don't know. That's a mix. So what are we telling with all this? Well, we're just saying that you can just spray the plate and pick mm, it up and yeah. have an interesting background, which I didn't do much of that today because I was like, oh, but look at this one. Oh my goodness, you yeah. all will just wet yourself so over that, that was one. Two, you know, the well, green I guess, I guess, with the uh, paint. oh your green paint. No, no, that's spray. So that, but then these are all sprays. The ones I've just handed you are only sprays on the plate. Well, that's got some sparkle in it, so it had, at the very least had this stuff. Oh, it might have been a little residue there, yeah. but I mean, it was minimal. Yeah, it was just because that's what was picked up. Yeah, yeah, smooshed around here some more. I, I really love this one. It's kind of a mixture of two different ones, but you can tell what's happening here with. Okay, so um, the acrylic sprays. All right, so Robin, the acrylic sprays, they are going to be very similar to the Mr. Huey's. I believe that that's really what Mr. Huey's is, is it's like an acrylic spray. So yes, I mean, and we love those to pieces. These flat Fabio ones are pigmented, which means they are very similar to probably what, you know, an acrylic spray. They don't say that that's what they are. But again, that is my assumption, isn't it yours? Yes. That, I, I mean, I don't know how else that would necessarily, you know, work in the world. Um, but, you know, we're not super duper. I mean, I like Tem Holtz's distress stuff, but the delusions I was we really just uh, didn't care for. And, and and they don't come, they don't spray. And they don't spray. So we felt like. No, you can really see the spray on that. Oh, yeah. But, truly, I think that the Mr. Hueys Check that are one. going to be, like, what those acrylic sprays would be as well. And, and the and the Lindy flat, because there is pigment in them. Now, this is a spray with leftovers on the thing, but you can, and here's one, you can look at that beautiful sprayed background there. So these were all just sprayed. Well, some of them were sprayed, but it's... Uh, yeah, I can see it's starting to lift. So whatever she had on her plate, yeah. <laughs> it was starting to... The mucky muck. Pull whatever, it up. Whatever was left behind. But yeah. I, I tell you what, I am, I'm, I love these sprays. I, I like them better than any I've used. Okay, so um, Chris is asking, uh, I love the, the paints you are using in the palette, what are they? Oh, these, yes. They are. Oh, yeah. So, oh. These are the Fine Tech pearlescent colors. And they come in different sets to where, like, so this one, I, I would highly recommend this set simply because you get got the silvers a... to the, the golds along with the coppers and the rusty reds and stuff. Plus, you get those. But then you can kind of. And look and show them the, what my little. They swirly do things that I made there. And there's another one. There's the just the blues, right? Where's right. That one? But the one on the far left over there is it has a representation of everything. Yeah, from each set because there's going to be kind of duplicates if you get this one. I went through and and they're corresponding to the ones that they're in front of. But can you see those? 
They are absolutely fabulous. And if you wanted to, I am thinking you could use one of those mini misters and possibly make up a spatter spray using these. I don't know for sure. Yeah, you could I haven't tried shake it up. I haven't tried that. You might run into the uh, Dina oh, Wakely thing where you're clogging up your spout. But Dina. 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 We never get it right. I, I don't really know. And no one, I don't know. Yeah. Robin has told us many a times. <laughs> Acrylic sprays don't reactivate with water. Yes, that is very true. And mostly they're opaque. They're not translucent. I mean, I guess they could be because paint comes in translucence. But, yes, they are, generally speaking, more opaque and they do not reactivate. Right, because once they, once the, the kind of because they're plastic. plastic seals it in, that's why I think, because once these are on there, on there, same thing with some of the Mr. Hughes, not all, like I said, not all not the Mr. Hughes all. are the same. Because they've got some navy in there. And I tell you, well, that stuff, yeah, and once it's down, it's down. Oh, my goodness. And it yeah. will go right through the paper. Yes, it soaks in. So, but anyway. Yes. Highly recommend the Fine Tech. You, the Calero is the same thing, but I think the Fine Tech, number one, you get more product in your little square. Yeah. So, and, see, uh, these are, they are by Fine Tech, but it's Calero. So, this is sort of like, um. Maybe student grade, I don't know. Yeah, kind of deal. That, that's a good way to introductory and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them no, those it's are just once you try these then you're like oh there is a little difference yeah like just how quickly they solubilize and the creaminess of them but yeah. you can get the same in fact i used this the other day just because i didn't want to take these out of the drawer but i now have them out of the drawer and we sort of have to keep those out of sight because uh, yeah, the, our, the really three-year-old is very fascinated with those. Hey, that actually turned out kind of cool. See? Oh, yeah. Some Sometimes if you, you just, you know, <laughs> walk, a, paint, walk paint, away, paint. get All a right. cup of coffee, go pee, whatever. I think that is, I do want to put a little bit more of the sparkle on top of that once I've, you know, put the stuff back on that I took out. Well, and let's just recap very quickly. I think we covered everything. I would have liked to have done more stenciling. Maybe um, next week we do stencil sprays? We could do that. Yeah. It, yeah. I, I think that that would be a good one because then I can leave some of the stuff that I have, which I intend to do yeah. stencil sprays on. And, um, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I think that we, we did cover things. If there's yeah. anything, let me read the last. Okay, many thanks. Thank you, Headless Violin. We loved having you here today. <laughs> Robin, as usual, cookie wookie. Oh, let's just see if I know. A lovey, lovey eye face. <laughs> oh, it's totally inspired me. Well, that's, oh, awesome. that, Good. That, that's, that's what we're here for. That's our main goal. Absolutely. And if you buy something from Seth, tell him where you got your info. <laughs> I, I, That's right. I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm having a long distance love affair with Seth. She is. Um, I think it's, a, it's getting awkward. Yeah, it is. That's all right. All right. I don't, I think I've covered everything on here. All right, guys. Well, and, um, if you haven't, um, I think most of you guys are subscribers, but if you're just kind of sitting in the background there, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Um, that helps us big time along with giving a thumbs up on the video. If you're still here, give us those thumbs ups. Um, that totally helps us with our, you know, analytics and everything and hoping that people kind of see them. I, oh, she hates that when people that talk. hand fluttering stuff. Oh, well here, let's do this. Let's talk to our audience. We have that ability. Hi guys. So, Hi. <laughs> if you haven't liked the video, please do. That helps us very much. Subscribe and don't forget to, to ring the bell. And ring the bell. That way, whenever we're doing these lives or anything, or if we drop a new video, because we do process videos during the week, uh, we've been doing Carrie. Actually, Carrie, was she in here today? I don't think Carrie was in here today. She must have been busy. So, we've been doing her art journal prompts, which are tons of fun, and a lot of times we use the sprays and things there, too, and gel plate printing. A yes. lot of things that you see that we do in these live demos end up over there, like in our process videos that we do with the fast talkie over stuff. 
Um, still very fun because usually P and I voice over and ramble on about things that probably have nothing to do with the actual video. I really, I really like doing the voiceovers because yeah, it's fun. so much of the time when I'm actually doing something on the table or whatever, that's what I'm focusing on. And I, excuse me, that part of my brain is not working. Working. I can only use one part at a time. So. All that being said, thank you guys for joining us today. It was tons of fun. It was. We will do um, maybe sprays and stencils next week. I don't know. Let us know in yeah. the chat. Come back. Watch the replay if you want. Um, it'll take a while for the video to render, so you won't be able to leave comments at that time. But if you do want to come back or you're watching the replay and you are able to make comments, do that too because that is also helpful. Absolutely. All right. Um, thank you guys again. Love you very much, and we will uh, see you hopefully next week in the chat. Bye! That was a good one, Mariah. That was a good one.